Welcome to the Amateur Rocketry Awards! Here we're going to be going over some of the biggest amateur rocketry achievements for the year of 2022. It's been a big year for students in amateur rocketry, especially after the 2020 and 2021 years which were kind of dead due to coronavirus. So finally we're seeing a lot of rockets back on the launch pad. Over the past year there have been two big student rocketry competitions, which include Spaceport America and also Euroc. In addition to that, lots of student groups also conducted launches of their own, and there was even a space shot. But which rockets flew the fastest, the furthest, and the highest? That's what we're here to answer today. We start off with the first Amateur Rocketry Awards category, which is the highest liquid rocket. This means that the rocket is being powered only by liquids, so the fuel and the oxidizer are both in liquid form. This is a particularly hard element of student rocketry because these tend to be a bit more expensive and a bit more complicated to develop. And this year we had the pleasure to see lots of student liquid rockets actually fly. One of the student groups competing in this category was the Purdue Space Program with their Boomy Zombie rocket. This is a Methalox rocket, which is the next step in their development for building a rocket which may be able to reach the Kármán line in the future. The Boomy Zombie sports some pretty interesting technology with coaxial tanks. This means that the fuel tank is actually inside of the oxidizer tank, which can save a lot on mass if you design it properly. They participated in the FAR dollar per foot challenge, which means that they get one dollar for every foot of altitude that they get. In the end, Boomy Zombie was able to reach an altitude of 1,309 meters. Another one of the student groups competing in this category was the TU Veen Space Team. They have a liquid rocket which they're developing, which will hopefully one day be powering a rocket that goes to space. But they started first with a micro version of this rocket called Micro Hubolt, and it managed to reach an altitude of 2.2 kilometers at the Euroc Challenge. On top of this, because of their successful recovery, they're actually able to break the record in Europe for the highest flying liquid rocket with a successful recovery. Finally, stealing the cake in this category was the Darcy-1 rocket, which was built by the Yellow Jacket Space Program. They're a team that operates out of Georgia Tech, and they've become quite prolific in the liquid rocketry category over the last couple of years. They've been specifically working on some engines which are working on nitrous oxide and alcohol in order to be powering their liquid rockets, which they're also hoping will eventually reach space. This seems to be a common goal for a lot of these programs. Darcy-1 is about 3.4 meters long and weighs about 25 kilograms dry. As I said before, it's also powered by nitrous oxide and alcohol. And with this combination, they are able to reach a peak thrust of 1.6 kilonewtons and a peak acceleration of just over 9G. Typically, it's pretty hard to reach these high accelerations with a liquid system, so it's pretty incredible that they're able to get all the way up to 9G with a liquid system. Unfortunately, this rocket was kind of a dumb rocket as it didn't really have a recovery system. But as we don't really have a caveat in this category saying that you must recover the vehicle, it looks like it's still a pass here. Ain't no rules that the dog can't play basketball. In the end, they are able to achieve an altitude of just over 5,900 meters. Now, they're, they're not super confident about that altitude height, but since it was much higher than all the other contenders in this category, we have to give them the win for this category. So congratulations to the Yellow Jacket Space Program for developing Darcy-1, which was able to reach the highest altitude for liquid rockets in the year of 2022. Moving on to the next category, we have the highest hybrid rocket to fly under a student program. And it turns out that the winner for this category is not what you might think. Typically the awards for these categories will go to college student groups who often have a lot more resources in order to develop these types of rockets which will actually be able to perform at these high levels. But that's not the case this year in the hybrid category. It turns out that actually the winner for this category by a long shot ends up being a high school student program. <laughs> Serious? That's right, you heard that properly. There are high school students who are developing rockets which are flying higher than college students. Well, you got me. By all accounts, it doesn't make sense. The high school program that we're talking about today is the one at Brazoswood High School. They developed their Horizon 1 rocket. It stands at about 5.5 meters tall with a width of around 200 millimeters and it's powered by nitrous oxide and HTPB fuel propellant. Brazosud was able to launch Horizon 1 from White Sands Missile Range as part of the Systems Go program, which is dedicated to actually bringing rocketry to high school students. Basically every year, a couple of high schools are able to launch their rockets from White Sands Missile Range, which gives them an excellent opportunity to explore the world of amateur rocketry. And in the end, Brazosud was actually able to set the record for the White Sands Missile Range at 13,860 meters. This takes the crown for the highest hybrid rocket launched in 2022 for a student group and also sets a new world record for high school rocketry overall. So congratulations to the Brazoswood team 
for their highest hybrid rocket, while also setting a world record for high school rocketry. Next up, we have the category for the most powerful rocket in 2022. This can include both rockets that have flown and also rockets that have been on the test stand. And boy, has it been an exciting year for powerful rockets. It just so happens to be that there are a lot of student rocket groups that are targeting to actually reach space in the next year or two, which means that they're testing those engines right now. Bring it on. One of the most powerful engines tested this year was USCRPL's Firebiter engine. It reached a peak thrust of about 7.3 kilonewtons and is going to be the next engine that's powering their rocket to go to 50 kilometers. This is a big success for the USCRPL team, which had some difficulties with their Earth Shakier test stand earlier in 2021. But USCRPL was not the only group testing at high thrust. There was also the DARE team, which was playing around with their new bipropellant liquid engine called Firebolt. This engine was able to reach a peak thrust of 11 kilonewtons and is going to be the technology that they're going to use to be powering Stratos 5, which is going to be their space shot vehicle, which is coming up in 2024 or so. But taking the category for most powerful engine lit in 2022 is the Highlight engine developed by High End. This engine will be powering their N2 North vehicle, which is planning to break the European amateur rocketry record at 32 kilometers. It stands at 7.8 meters tall with a diameter of 259 millimeters, and it's powered by nitrous oxide and HTPB. During its 30 second burn, the Highlight engine was able to reach a peak thrust of 16 kilonewtons and was also able to achieve a total impulse of 267 kilonewton seconds. And this actually means something interesting because with their dry mass of around 70 to 75 kilograms, this means that they are actually capable of reaching space. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. So watch out, High End could actually have the first amateur built hybrid rocket to reach space. They're planning to launch this rocket in the spring of 2023, so stay tuned. Oh, and I forgot to mention, they also broke the German record for the most powerful rocket ignited by a German student group. It turns out that the previous category kind of had a bias towards rockets that are just on the test stand. So what was the most powerful rocket that actually took flight? It turns out that this year, it was a rocket developed by Eris called Helvetica. Eris is a Swiss student rocketry group and they were able to fly Helvetica at the Spaceport America Cup, which is another student rocketry competition that's hosted in America. Helvetica is Eris's most advanced version of their lineup of hybrid rockets, which they've been developing for the past five or 10 years. Like many other rockets on this list, it's a hybrid rocket powered by nitrous oxide and HTPP. It's about 60 kilograms dry and 84 kilograms wet. Being the latest rocket in a long development process, Eris is able to incorporate a lot of cool technology into this rocket. One of those includes a completely in-house developed CFRP nozzle, which actually ablates. This allows them to save a lot of mass on the nozzle and get that extra bit of performance. On top of this, they have one of the most innovative recovery systems for amateur rockets. It turns out that they actually deploy an airfoil, which is able to steer itself back to the launch site. At the Spaceport America Cup, Helvetica was targeting an altitude of nine kilometers, but they were actually able to exceed this target. In the end, Helvetica reached a peak altitude of 10.4 kilometers, a peak acceleration of 8.5 Gs, and a peak thrust of 7.2 kilonewtons. They also reached a peak velocity of Mach 1.2. And interestingly enough, due to a sputtering engine, they were actually able to break the sound barrier twice. And to put the icing on the cake, at 10.4 kilometers altitude, Helvetica actually broke the Swiss student amateur rocketry record. Kudos to the Ares team for such a successful rocket. We're definitely looking forward to what they have to offer in 2023. Finally, we have the top category of them all. Who flew the highest out of all the rockets in 2022? There were a lot of high performance flights this year with many exceeding the 10 kilometer mark. Typically the mark of a truly exceptional performance. But the rocket that reached the highest height this year turns out to be the Hound. This is a rocket developed by the TU Veen space team using commercial off-the-shelf technology. And for a little bit of context, this is a space shot vehicle. The Hound uses a two-stage system in which they're using a booster and also a sustainer. The Hound also had a unique airframe utilizing an aluminum structure for the booster and a GFRP structure for the sustainer. In addition to this, their fins were actually 3D printed out of aluminum for the booster and out of titanium for the sustainer. And why were they using titanium and GFRP for that sustainer? Well, it turns out that when you're shooting for space, you end up hitting some pretty high velocities, which means that the heating on that rocket gets really, really high. And at those levels, titanium and GFRP are just able to handle that heating a bit more. During the launch, everything was going well with the booster. It was able to reach a peak velocity of Mach 2.4, and then it separated, allowing that sustainer to give the rocket that extra kick. But unfortunately, the sustainer ended up getting a little bit unstable, which caused them to only reach a maximum speed of Mach 4.0. And it also ended up kind of veering off in the wrong direction, so that wasn't exactly going straight up anymore. In the end, they didn't quite make it to space, 
but they still reached a pretty incredible peak altitude of 21.4 kilometers, easily taking the highest rocket launch for student amateurs in the year 2022. And to cap off their successful year, the TUV and space team was able to set the new Austrian record for student amateur rocketry. The competition was hot in the student amateur rocketry world of 2022, but 2023 is looking even more contentious. To stay up to date with what's going on in the student amateur rocketry world, be sure to subscribe. And remember to expand your horizons.